Good afternoon! Uh, we're gonna make a spring bean pesto pasta kick-ass dinner with the wonderful Tim Chief. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so Tim's a friend, uh, parkour champion. Yeah, I'm a free runner, uh, living in London, professional free runner. Vegan. Hey! Hey! Oh, champion parkour. Yeah. Not yeah. just any old parkour. Yeah, I've, I've won a, a few world championships in the past. Passionate about animals, about eating healthy, about looking after your body and looking after the planet. Bit of spirituality in there, that's what I do. Hey, but I'm looking forward to this. So pesto, we're going to make yeah. a spring green pa pesto first, so let's get it on. Um, first thing, you want about 100 grams of spring green. So we're going to go straight up with the El Kabosh, the cabbage. So turn her up high, bring the cabbage to a boil, or your spring greens to a boil, to the boil, uh, and boil them for about 3-4 minutes, just until they go nice and soft and tender and ready to make a killer pesto. You'll need a blender, open her up, get out your greens. In we go. Tim, I'll get you to squeeze in half a lime in there. Yeah. So in we go. So, so in goes our green. Wet. A little bit of moisture. Just to make it a little bit softer. There we go. In they go. Okay. Two teaspoons of salt. Tim, baby, will you whack them in? We got 100 grams of roasted cashew nuts. They're not salted, they are roasted. Three cloves of garlic into our spring green pesto. Woo! And then we have 200 ml of sunflower or olive oil. I'm using sunflower oil just because it just adds a more neutral flavor. Lid on. Tim, baby, can you press number three? Ah, Rocking, really smooth, balanced, nice liminess, the kind of salt bringing it all together. Cashewness, fatty, creamy, loveliness. Balance is the word there. And the cashews, I wouldn't yeah, use anything but that to help just make it a creamy pesto. Really, mm. really tasty. Really lovely. So let's cook our pasta now. Yeah. So, first of all, bring your pot of water to the boil. So I'm just using the same water that the cabbage was boiled in. Yes, please. We're going to put in a little, just a pinch of salt. You want to do it? I'm on it. Is that going to... You're all standing on this side. Jeez. <laughs> We'll just check if it's done there now. Off with our frying pan. Lads, you want it? I need something carbs after all them handstands. It didn't stick. Oh, I <laughs> did, she did, it did. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Here we go! Oh. <laughs> oh. Back. The colour combination there, the brown and the green, is such a beautiful Ooh, thing. Oh, yeah. epic, it's earthy, a beautiful thing. Earthy. Just what a vegan wants, right? <laughs> or a non-vegan, of course. This tastes, the pesto tastes amazing. So next step, just mix the pesto through the pasta. That was my favorite dish before, was vegan carbonara, and this kind of reminds me. Yeah. So here's a couple ideas. You'll see it there. You know, looks really cool, looks green, looks rocking. Um, here's a couple of suggestions to pimp it up. So now I'm just gonna add some chili flakes. I like it hot. That's so creamy. Mm, Cashews mm. are just incredible for that. Really Rocky. like the carbonara. Delicious, creamy, substantial, yes! Peppercorns are sweet, chili gives a bit of a bite. That's it, fantastic. Feeds about four really hungry people, six reasonably hungry people. And My ten, ten little not so hungry people. Yeah. And you're getting your greens in, man. You're like, Great that's, way that's, that's a really energy. clean, absolutely delicious green machine. Spaghetti dish right there. So do go across now and check out Tim's channel. All about parkour, vegan health, spirituality, all of that good stuff. Such yep. a dude. Um, thanks a million for watching and health and happiness. Thanks for having me. Yay! Yeah.